This is Manny from Highway Star. Today we're replacing um, the top strut hat on a BC Racing coilover. Just doing some maintenance. Um, had these coilovers now for about 60,000 miles. Um, this is a to replace the top hat strut shouldn't be that hard. Um, we'll show you and walk you through what tools you need and, and whatnot. Once you get the strut out, it's just two nuts up here and um, an Allen bolt. And your end result should look some close to this. This is a cheap alternative for Subarus, especially if you're trying to run some max camber. This is a cheap alternative to the lower control lateral arms that you have to buy to adjust camber on these cars. Um, these do not come factory from BC. You have to either special order them. Um, they either do it for you or I'll show you here how to do it on your own. Once that's removed, you can take off the top adjuster it's a 14 millimeter and then this little baby comes out there's that and now you can use an allen key to the top of the strut show you guys a little better put an allen key here which I'm using a craftsman gear wrench and a 17 to take disassemble the top of the strut. 17 in your Allen key, you put the Allen key in with the 17 on the actual strut nut and loosen. Should not take a lot of effort to loosen it and you don't have to worry about the spring decompressing because it's a coil over and everything fits to perfection. So you just loosen this, get your Allen key out, 17 out, you should be able to unassemble everything by hand. Remove the top nut, washer, stock strut hat. So, next up, this is the important order of this. You have this nut and the spacer slash washer strut hat. And this is the important part. You have your space um, washer and your metal locking hat. And this is important because we actually lost this and got screwed up. This goes this way with this spherical um, facing down, holding down washer, strut hat, goes over it, and then finally the BC nut slash spacer. Once on there, just push down a little bit until it catches some threads. And the same procedure as before. Allen key and there's 17 and then just basically you can spin the 17 without the Allen key you only need the Allen key really towards the end when it starts getting tight like this the Allen key at the top Just remove this extra hardware that they send you. You can use the nuts that come that you had on your car, and you can use the ones that come with the new hats. Move this, and then it's back on with our little adjuster. Where the fuck did I put that 14? 